I'm not gonna be going to Booknet Fest because I'm gonna be going to Area 51. Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Alex and today I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I'm going to be bringing to Area 51. So if you've been anywhere on the internet, you might know that on September 20th, people are going to raid Area 51. Someone made a Facebook event and that's, it's 2019, this is what happens. So if you don't know what Area 51 is, it's a place in Nevada where there's been alien sightings and the government doesn't want us to know about it. And that's like the gist of it. Honestly, if you look it up, it'll come up and you can read all about it. I don't know too much about it. I'm a media and communications major, so I don't know much about geography and things like that. But when aliens are involved, I will be there. Like I love aliens. I love a good alien story. I love all of that stuff because it's so interesting because we don't know anything about it. So hopefully the FBI and the government just doesn't shut down this video. So hi FBI if you're watching this, please don't shut down my video. This is just a joke. I'm not actually going. My channel is already demonetized and I don't make money off it. So please go to somebody else. So. As I'm a booktuber, I wanted to share the books that I'm going to be bringing to Area 51. So if you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to see my next video where an alien picks my TBR. <laughs> Here are the books that I'm going to be bringing to Area 51. So the first book I actually have on audio and I've already read this, but I feel like I need to do a reread just so I can be prepared for any alien interaction. So this is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This is about Henry and he is constantly abducted by aliens and he is told that the world is going to end in 144 days. Also, he is grieving the loss of his ex-boyfriend. So I picked this book in particular because I have it on audio and I can listen to it on the way to Area 51, like when I'm on the plane and all of that kind of stuff. And it can prepare me if I get abducted by an alien because this guy gets abducted a lot and he has like some strategies and he just talks about the experience, but the aliens also like drop him off. So maybe like I could like talk to the aliens, they could just drop me off at home or something like that. Like that would be perfect. I wouldn't even have to take a flight back. I think it would be perfect. So I am gonna learn how to work with aliens if I get abducted by one from Sean David Hutchinson and Henry. So I think that this first book is pretty perfect and I have read it, but it's been a while, so I need a reread. Next book I picked is Spill Zone by Scott Westerfeld. This is about Spill Zone, and it reminds me of Area 51 because it's a zone. And even when I open the flap, it says no entry, no photos, no survivors. And that is basically Area 51. That's what's going to happen. So I feel like if I read this, I will be totally prepared for Area 51 in case I die. So. So the last two books are the books that I actually haven't read, so these will be new reads for me. And I have Alienated by Melissa Landers. The synopsis for this kind of confused me, so I'm gonna try my best to say what it's about. But basically, the aliens have made contact in this world. I think that this is like, I don't know if this is like real world or not, but it's kind of like, I think it's like real world and like sci-fi, it's like mixed together, I don't know. I worried contemporary, what am I even saying? The synopsis for Alienated kind of confused me, so I'm going to try my best to explain it. But aliens have made contact in, I think, the real, I think it's the real world, um, but it does end up becoming sci-fi because aliens. So the town has accepted that aliens are real, and this girl, who's the main character, she ends up getting a foreign exchange student who's actually an alien and they become best friends or they become lovers and so that's where i have to stop because an alien romance is weird but i i would date an alien i i don't have any problems so basically if an alien does fall in love with me i have to read this book to be prepared so just in case an alien does fall in love with me so i'm gonna read this book just to be prepared but then my next book i have is also a alien romance so we're just reading the alien romances to be prepared because you don't know like i don't know what aliens are like i need to be prepared like i need to know the signs if one is going to fall in love with me like do I make the move? Do they make the move? Like, I really need to know. The last book I have is Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And this book, I just need to read the synopsis. I know that this book is like so old and everybody's already read it, like, but I haven't, okay? And I need to read it so that I know when an alien's falling in love with me. So basically, I don't know what the girl's name is because the synopsis doesn't even say it. It just says that she spotted her hot neighbor who ends up being a alien 
and it actually says the hot alien living next door marks me and she also talks about how she wants to stab him so um <laughs> I'm really confused why everyone likes this book because she wants to kill him so the synopsis didn't give me much for this but what I got from it is that a girl has a hot alien neighbor and I don't know if they fall in love but she says that she wants to kill him and there was something about stabbing so maybe it's like her trying to not kill him so I'm really just reading this because it had alien in it but now hopefully it'll help me if I see a hot alien and I'll know what to do um or if I feel like I'm gonna kill one so maybe that's what happens like when you meet an alien they're just like wow I want to kill you so maybe that's what happens so hopefully I'll learn from the main character and hopefully I'll learn her name because it doesn't say it in the synopsis. So that was the books I'm going to be bringing to Area 51. If you're going let me know some books you're going to be bringing and we can meet up and it'll be a great time. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't because my next video will be an alien fix my TBR. I know that this video is pretty early because it's July but I needed to just put it out here because everyone is posting about Area 51 and I kind of felt left out so i hope you guys did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and this was a whole joke i hope you know that i am pretty sarcastic and i hope that everyone knows that i'm not actually going to area 51 but this was so fun to make and honestly i laughed so hard making this because i am an idiot <laughs> so definitely hit subscribe if you did enjoy this video and i hope you're all having a great day my name is alex and i'll see you next time How am I the slowest growing channel on YouTube? Honestly, I feel like I am. I'm the slowest growing channel on BookTube, and it's a shame.